From California State University, San Bernardino, it's Local Matters. Food insecurity and the essentials for camping. Hello, I'm David Williams, and welcome to Local Matters, featuring stories from across the Inland Empire. And I'm Aaron Garcia. There are helpful options when facing food insecurity. Food dens are a great source when looking for assistance with getting groceries. Reporter Dustin Alexander learns more on how food dens operate. We've all heard jokes about starving college students, but food insecurity is a real issue that main students will have to face. Food insecurity can be conceptualized as actually limited availability of food in a household or your inability to obtain an adequate amount of food. 20% of California State University students are more likely to experience food insecurity and at least 10 of them will report feelings of homelessness. Within Cal State San Bernardino, 12% will most likely encounter food insecurity. The Albershaw Den actually provides a variety of foods, so we provide a combination of non-perishable items, so you can see a lot of the great canned food that we have. Then we also have cereal, to oatmeal, and then we also have one of our major attractions to students, which is our produce. So we actually get produce delivered here on a weekly basis, so you can find great fruit and vegetables here. And then we also do provide hygiene items. So there's multiple ways that somebody can help um, contribute to the Overshaw Den. So we appreciate when people come in and bring in donations from you know, perishable items to non-perishable items. Our main goal here at the Overshaw Den is to fight food insecurity. There's no need to go hungry and we really are in to promote student success. Food insecurity is a big issue, but it's nice to know that there are people and organizations that are there to help. From Local Matters, I'm Dusty Alexander. Don't know what to take when heading into the wilderness? Reporter Brianna Sotelo set out to camp to discover the essentials needed for camping. If you ever thought about camping but didn't know what to bring, well, here are a couple tips and tricks for you. I like to plan ahead and prepare maps, prepare the food I want to bring, prepare the gear list that I want to bring. Anything that I think I'll be needing for the camping trip, I like to put it into that designated folder. That way when I'm on the trip, I have everything I need in that folder. For every camping trip, I would say you always need to bring a first aid kit. You never know what's gonna happen. A sleeping bag, a tent, and a sleeping pad. Those are the most essential along with food and water. You know, experience with your families, friends, even by yourself, if you're willing to go out there and camp by yourself. I would recommend camping to anyone just because it's a good way to de-stress. It's a great way to just be in a different environment than the city life. It's a lot more slower paced, it's relaxing. Silence is good. Um, while we're out here, you get a lot of it. You can hear the pretty birds lots of animals, you see a lot of wildlife, depending on the areas, you might see chipmunks, squirrels, and they're all really pretty to just like watch. It's a great thing to experience. Camping can be extremely difficult, but with these helpful tips and tricks, it can be a lot easier. For Local Matters, I'm Brianna Sotelo. To keep updated on what Local Matters is doing, follow our social media. To watch some of our other stories, head over to our YouTube channel at localmatters.csusb. I'm Aaron Garcia. And I'm David Williams. Join us next time for more local stories that matter.